Right the next race from Gravel is the South African Gold Cup, the Elan Gold Cup, the group group one of uh, one mile six furlongs. One is October Tiger, Graham Clutterbuck, two Red Rover, Patrick Hogan, Shipton Gorge, Darren Thompson, William Rufus, Kevin Minigan, Music Girl, Dave Hoody, Roaring Hawk, Dan Yu, Sealed His Fate, Joshua Sutherland, Wheel of Fortune, Craig Beckwith, Zephy, Patrick Hogan, Harrod Tidley, Davy Robertson, Old Man McGucket, Leon Van Renswick, Treasure Brown, Craig Beckwith, and Zephonic Bell for Graham Clutterbuck. Those are the 13 horses in the South African Gold Cup. Jan Durban. At Gravel, remember next season will be in September. I'm not sure of the date. Graham Clatterback will confirm that. They're at the start, and away they go in the Gold Cup as they pass the stands. And the liquid early leader is Red Rover out wide. Sealed his fate is moving up on that one's outside with Old Man McGucket. And as they sort themselves out, it's Old Man McGucket who now takes it up from Sealed his fate. In third is Red Rover with October Tiger on that one's outside. They're followed by Zephy with Wheel of Fortune on that one's inside. The white colours, white colours, and the blue, blue, white cap, and the blue colours on the outside. The grey horse that's Roaring Hawk in the dark, the light like royal blue colours for Dan Hughes on that one's inside. He's shipped and Gorge and maroon colours for Dan Darren Thompson. Then comes Harrod Tiddy and those turquoise and pink stripes for David Robertson. On the inside we have uh, Music Girl, who's just on the outside of Saphonic Bell. William Rufus on that one's outside. Treasure Brand behind these. In the back of the field we have Zephy for Patrick Hogan. So Old Man McGucket leads from Sealdy's Fate in second. They're followed by Red Rover in third. Then comes October Tiger. Shipton Gorge just behind that for Darren Thompson. They're followed by Harrod Tiddy. On the inside of that is. Uh, uh, Treasure Brand and also Wheel of Fortune for Craig Beckworth. In between horses, Zephy, then William Rufus. On the rail, we have Music Girl and Travelling Wide at the stage. Roaring Hawk for Dan Hughes, the back of the field, Zephonic Bell for Graham Clutterbuck, and it's Old Man McGucker who takes him on. It's about a length clear of Sealdy's Fate with about a mile left to travel. Red Rover being pushed along to try and prove his position. Then comes October Target with Treasure Brand moving up on that one's outside. Travelling Wide still is Roaring Hawk with under that one's inside is Shipton Gorge. Harrod Teddy just behind this for. Davy Robertson, Music Girl on the inside, then followed by William Rufus. Zephy follows that with Wheel of Fortune and Zephonic Bell still at the back of the field as Old Man McGucket leads from Sealed His Fate and in third, Red Rover. They followed by Treasure Brand. Roaring Hawk passing also on the outside. Harrod Tiddy going with that one. A struggling uh, going backwards at this stage is October Tiger. They followed by William Rufus and Zephy shipped and Gorge trying to run on with Music Girl. Still nowhere to go for Zephonic Bell has been trapped behind horses for a while. It's Old Man McGucket in front from Red Rover has moved up into second. On his outside, he sealed his fate. Then comes Treasure Brand and Roaring Hawk on the inside. October Tiger's been pushed along. Zephy and Harrod Tiddley's running on from the back of the field. They've got four films left to go. Old Man Bagaka kicking from the front. Yeah, leads from Red Rover in second. Sealed his fate is in third. Still going powerfully. Roaring Hawk in fourth. Then comes uh, Treasure Brand on the outside. Harrod Tiddley's getting going with Zephy. They've got three films left to go. In front, Old Man Bagaka from Red Rover in second. Up on the outside, Harrod Tiddley's finishing strongly. Roaring Hawk is right there. Zephy is also coming forward to run. It's Old Man McGucket in front. Red Rover and Zephy and Harrod Tiddy are chasing with William Rufus and Roaring Hawk out wide Shipton Gorge. Old Man McGucket with about a foot and a half to go. He's getting wary. Here comes Harrod Tiddy on the outside. On the inside, Red Rover. It's Old Man McGucket. Harrod Tiddy on the outside with Red Rover. William Rufus in between horses. Old Man McGucket. Harriet Tiddy, Red Rover. These two are chasing hard. Harrod Tiddy and Red Rover left to find it out. Harrod Tiddy, Red Rover on the inside. is very close Red Rover's going to get up on the line to beat Harrod Tidley it's very close in the end but I think Red Rover might have got up to beat Harrod Tidley the angle's going to be deceiving so we'll look at the replay that is very tight Red Rover has won and it's not a dead heat because it's the uh, alphabetical order if it's a dead heat Red Rover wins from Patrick Hogan for Patrick Hogan wins the gold cup from Harrod Tidley in second David Robertson Roaring Hawk was third for Dan Hughes Wheel of Fortune fourth for Craig Beck with Shipton Gorge fifth for Darren Thompson and Old Man McGucket who only managed sixth for the Anthony Rensburg remember next season <laughs>